Very surprised uh, to read that you're a uh, Beyonce fan. I shouldn't say that, I suppose, but you don't seem like your average Beyonce fan to me. I don't know, you don't look like a, I don't know, I'm getting a country western vibe from you. Is that, <laughs> is that wrong? Uh, Conway Twitty, you know, uh, <laughs> Kay Kaiser and his band of renowned, I don't know. Uh, you, you, I'm, I'm just not getting, a, it's a very, really, is that, you listen to Beyonce? Yeah, I do. I listen to a bunch of music, mostly because I have five children who have an eclectic music interest. Right. And so they, I know Beyonce's work, I listened to all of Lemonade, and it came, it, <laughs> It actually came in handy one day. I'm sitting, I'm FBI director. I'm getting briefed on a counterintelligence case. And they always have code names. And so the counterintelligence leader said, sir, this is code name Sandcastles. And I said, like the Beyonce song. And, and I'm looking at a room full of 20 FBI leaders and they're all looking at me like, what? <laughs> and I said, I said to them, you know, we build sandcastles. <laughs> True story. <laughs> I talk about the worst show on television. There was dead silence. Because yeah. they all thought I'd lost my mind. I went yeah. home and told my kids that. And they said, yeah, Dad, they're not as cool as they need to be. <laughs> so. That's a fantastic story. I, yeah. love, I love that. I love that you're educating everybody that works in government. <laughs>